This is why I don't like cooking. I don't want to come home to ingredients. I want to come home to a meal. Good morning from your favorite baby potato. I have no lashes on right now and I'm very much natural, but I'm getting ready to go to work and I'm just getting my work bag together right now. So just putting my little stuff, oops, my little charger, lotion, AirPods, that type of thing. Oh my gosh, that plan is so loud. I'm just using my little Stony Clover Aurora pouch today. And then I have some girly products in this. Gotta get my work laptop here. It's a boring laptop. <laughs> And yeah, I'm getting ready to go to work and I'm gonna take you guys with me because it's fun. And then I got my planner, my little notebook. It's also from the Stony Clover Princess collection. It's the Cinderella one. I'm taking that. I think that's everything that I need for the day. I gotta get my water and what time is it? 8.12. Running a little behind schedule, but that's okay. It's gonna be very very warm out like 68 i think so i just have on this little denim jacket but i'm like what what in the world because it was literally below freezing yesterday like i'm very much confused about what's happening in the world right now so what cup what do i feel like today what straw topper do i feel like today actually that will determine which cup okay let's do this pink one because it's my newest one and I like it a lot. So, I'm just gonna get some water. Okay, got my water and I actually need to get a straw topper now because y'all already know how I roll. You know how I do. All right, so which one do I wanna use today? I think maybe Oh, should we do Shelly? Mm, she doesn't really match. Either the heart, rainbow, hello kitty. I don't know, which one should I do? Let's see. No. Let's try this one, does that one work? I'm not really feeling it, let's see. It's like a different kind of pink. So I think I'm just gonna go with, actually I think Daisy would be a good match. No, it's still different. Hmm. Hello Kitty. See, this is why I need more straw toppers because they don't go with this. Maybe this one. I think we're just gonna go with it. Close enough. All right, so I think I have everything that I need. I got my water, phone, and what else? Keys. I think we're good to go. So I will see you guys. I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks, so. I will see you guys at Starbucks. Okay, y'all. So I just got my Starbucks. It was a madhouse in there. It is never that busy. Pew. But um, I got, what is this? Brown sugar espresso shaken brown sugar brown sugar <laughs> i don't know why i can't think of the name it's a brown sugar shaken espresso with almond milk this is my current fave drink right now and it's looked different all three times i've gotten it different locations but i'm just i don't know i, I don't know you already know my little hiccups with starbucks so i don't know what's right i don't know what's wrong i just know that it tastes good hopefully this will be no different Okay, so the first time I had this at the Starbucks by my house, it was bomb. This is good, but it doesn't taste like that. And when I got this the other day, it didn't taste like that either. Still good, but not as fire as that first time that I had it. So, I don't know. Also, it didn't look like this. So, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But it's good nonetheless. So, I got that. And then I also got an Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. It looks pretty good, but I'm going to eat this at my desk. Today is an in-office day for me. I go Tuesday, Thursday, and every other Friday, and 
this week is my alternate Friday, so I'm coming in tomorrow as well. But yeah, usually I get Starbucks on days that I'm in the office because it's just like a nice little treat for me having to leave my house, which I don't mind, but you know, it's, it's an excuse to get Starbucks, obviously. Because when I'm at home, I can just have my Nespresso coffee and you know, I'll be sleeping to the last minute on the days I gotta go to the office. So yeah, let me get out of here. My camera is trying to like jump off this dashboard. These raggedy roads in DC is gonna make this joint fall over anyway. So I will see you guys when I get to uh, my office. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to make my to-do list for the day on this cute stationery and just write down things that I need to get done while I'm in the office. I already went through some of my emails and responded to a couple of those. So now I just need to figure out what I wanna get done before the day is over. So I'm gonna make my to-do list now and then get started, obviously. signing tomorrow i'm talking well because hold on okay so we have a signing tomorrow for a client to sign their documents so i'm gonna go through and sorry there's like construction in our building so it's kind of loud but we have a signing tomorrow so i'm about to go through and finalize the documents and prep them so that they're ready for tomorrow and that's just making sure that and the format's correct and names are correct and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna print them, tab them, and get them ready for my boss to review. And yeah, that's like one of the most important things that I need to do today. So I'm gonna do that. I have a couple notes to make to let my boss know that I need her to look at and review and then we should be good to go with that. So now I'm getting ready to go to lunch. I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then I'm gonna come back and wrap up a couple other things that are on my list. It took me a little bit longer to do the documents because they weren't they weren't really complete. So I had to insert some things and finish them up now they're good to go it's a little bit gloomy outside i feel like i'm whispering so low but it's like i don't want the people in the offices next to me to hear me talking to myself so yeah i'm about to go to lunch now and i will probably take you guys to lunch i don't know what i'm gonna get today so we'll see here's a little ootd i have on my usual uniform bbx joggers my foam runners little skims top but yeah, we can wear whatever we want when we don't have clients in the office. So you already know my go-to, cozy cute. The 
dash a digit, the schedule busy My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie Life is amazing, it is what it should be Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie I tell her, look up, cause it's snowing in tussies But for three years, man, you can't even book me It's me and little baby, the going crazy Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me And she held it down, so she got it Hey guys, so it's a little after five And I am just wrapping up some emails Before I head out, I have a couple more things that I'm gonna do before I leave um, mostly just emails like just to close out the day so that's what I'm doing now and then yeah then I'm gonna go home in the car i took some chips from work because i'm so hungry i don't know what i'm about to eat for dinner but we are done for the day now i'm about to go home and edit another vlog that i need to post tomorrow so yeah that is the work day or at least an office work day maybe i'll do one where i work from home too so you can see kind of like i mean it's not really much difference aside from me like being at home but yeah that's basically what i do in a day i felt like i was whispering the entire day but that's because like the walls in our office are like not that thick and it's literally will sound like i'm talking to myself and i don't want people to think i'm talking to myself even though that's basically what i'm doing so now i'm about to go home and like i said i'm about to go home need to fix something to eat edit a vlog and yeah so actually i think i will catch up with you guys when i get to the house i was gonna say i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here but maybe i'll wrap it up like full full day when i get home fix my food yada yada so yeah i'll see you guys at the crib i'm home i'm in my cozy clothes now and i'm about to cook dinner cook dinner i'm about to have trader joe goodies so I'm about to have this chickenless mandarin orange chicken. I love these. And some roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. We cook smart, not hard over here. Y'all know I don't like cooking, so we got to do it. We got to do the easy thing. We got to do the easy way, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little oil in this pan. All right, we're gonna put a little olive oil there, just for the bottom. And we're just gonna let that heat up a little bit. While my pan is warming up, I'm actually so hungry. Like, oof. And Aunt Flo is in town. And I really wanna eat something sweet, like right now, prior to having like dinner. And I'm trying to decide between a chocolate chip cookie that I have left that I need to eat because I know it's getting past its good date. And then I have these vanilla flavored baton wafer cookies from Trader Joe's. I love these things. They're so good. Oh, they're so good. Like, so good. But. I think I'm just gonna eat the cookie because one, I want it and it's starting to not be that soft anymore. Y'all know my favorite Wegmans chocolate chip cookies. The fun thing about being an adult is literally you can do what you want and nobody can tell you what to do. Like eating a cookie before dinner. It's not the smartest thing, but no. It's that time. Mmm, so good. Also today, oh my gosh, it's so dark. And I went to lunch. My boss was like, does anybody want to go get lunch? Like out and sit outside? Because it was like really nice today. So we went and ate outside at like this crepes place. It was, I think actually I did record. That was a crepe <laughs> that I had earlier. It had like spinach, feta, onions, and sun-dried tomatoes. It was a savory crepe. And I had had it once before and it was really good. Why won't the TV cut on? So that was cute. That was a cute little unexpected thing. And it made me excited because spring is approaching. 
And that means that time is going back. Oh, sorry, spring forward. Time is going forward very soon. And I literally can't wait because more sun time. The days will be longer. I'm so happy about it. Also, I'm sure y'all have seen this in like the last three videos of mine, but the fact that my Christmas decorations are still up <laughs> is so ridiculous. I literally just don't even feel like taking it down now. Like it's gotten to the point where I'm just like fine with it being there. Like I want it down, but also it's like, not really bothered and it's funny because i've been seeing other people's backgrounds and it's mad people that still got their christmas trees up like i thought i was probably like the only one because it's about to be march but i see like a few people on instagram stories like in the last couple days and their christmas trees are still up in the background and i'm like okay well clearly i ain't the only one i mean even if i was that wouldn't matter but i ain't the only one so clearly we all feel away and it's just giving the tree is just gonna stay up until we say otherwise and that's fine that's fine it looked good like my decorations was popping so i'm not mad at looking at it i haven't been plugging it up so i will say that it hasn't been turned on maybe i should turn on nah nah that's too much let me go see if my pan is ready because honestly i'm ready to eat this is why <laughs> this is why i don't like cooking i don't want to come home to ingredients i want to come home to a meal i want the food to be done i want it to be ready to go i don't want to have to cook it Usually I just pour it in here and then put my little seasonings on it. It's obviously frozen. Then just put the lid on so it can like warm up. And then I just leave it for a little while. This is me eating my cookie again. All right, y'all, let's check on our papas. Ooh, coming along nicely. A little more salt, a little more pepper. Then I'm gonna start on these little mandarin morsels. By the time those are done, the potatoes will be good. All right, now that our oil is hot, put our little, little meat pieces in there. It's like a nasty burnt piece that I don't want to fall in the pan. They look like little nuggets. They kind of look like Chick-fil-A nuggets a little bit, actually. But they're so yummy. You could really eat them like this, probably, but the mandarin sauce is so good. And then our potatoes are just chilling back here. I just realized I don't have a vegetable, and it's another one of those things where it's like, I'm an adult, so it's not gonna eat any vegetables. I know that's bad, but actually I had spinach on my crepe earlier, so that kind of counts, right? I think it does. It's gonna count today because I don't have any vegetables or I, I'm not cooking any vegetables, let me say that. I'm not gonna cook any veggies. Once this is done, Dash a digit, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been here for 10, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her, look up, cause it's snowing in tussies. But for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and Lil' Hey y'all, here's my little meal. It's the meal of champions. <laughs> it gets the job done. Easy for your boy. I'm satisfied. So, I'm about to eat this, and then chill for a second, and then edit. I'm very tired. And I kind of want to go to sleep, but duty calls. Oh my God, sidebar. They finally started back playing King of the Hill on Cartoon Network and I literally, and on FXX, and I cannot take it. This is hands down one of my favorite shows of all time. Like I used to watch this religiously 
back in the day and I have missed it so much. I was so sad when they stopped playing it, but they've started back and I'm so excited. If you didn't know, I love like adult cartoons. I have been watching adult cartoons since like, I don't know, a long time, since I can remember, probably like single digit years, probably like since I was like nine. Like Space Goes Coast to Coast, The Brag Show. Those are weird shows, but during that era, like before Adult Swim, or was Adult Swim back, what was the thing back then? I can't remember what it was called, but late at night when they would play like weird shows. I remember when I first saw Family Guy for the first time, it changed my life. I'm rapping now, but I think I was in middle school and my friend, she would record all, like she still had like a VHS player and she would record all the Family Guy Inuyasha episodes for me, because I, for whatever reason, I was trying to be into anime at the time, but I really loved Inuyasha and like that was our thing. So Family Guy, Inuyasha and I can't remember, was it American? It might've been American Dad. It was something else that came on. It was three shows, but we were so crazy over Family Guy and Inuyasha. Like we talked about it literally all day, like in class. It was crazy actually, like good times. But anyway, I just love nostalgia. I love things that remind me of my childhood. I just love that kind of stuff. So King of the Hill being back on, it's just like very exciting for me because one, I just love the show. And two, it just reminds me of like, I was about to say happier times. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm happy now. But like, you know, childhood times, like when you were young. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rapping and I'm actually gonna watch King of the Hill and eat this food. So, BRB. Y'all, I almost fell asleep on this couch and forgot to close out the vlog. I'm sitting here exporting my vlog that I was editing. I just finished. I look like a naked potato. This, I cannot even look at me. But anyway, I finished editing my vlog and I'm uploading it now and I'm so tired. It is 12.45 a.m. and I have to get up in a couple hours to go work out. So I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already because girl, we got some new members. Shout out to all the new people in the gang. Shout out to all the newbies. Welcome guys. It's very weird for me to be welcoming you at the end of the video, but it is what it is. Happy to have you. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.